We recently noticed something with BigCommerce for WordPress, where in Safari, the embedded checkout was not rendering. You can see a Safari page here, and if I reload, you'll see a little spinner there that then just goes away. Well, as it turns out, the issue was third-party cookies or cross-domain cookies. And in this video, I'm going to show you what they look like and why it's a problem. This is Chrome, and we're going to go to the preferences and privacy and security. And then right here, it says cookies and other site data. And then right down here, it says see all cookies and site data. And here are all the cookies that have been stored on my computer. There are quite a few. You can see I can scroll a really long way. And some of these are primary cookies from a domain that I know and trust, and others come from other sites that I've never actually been to. Let's look at some examples here. If I scroll down, you'll see here Amazon.com. I've been to Amazon.com. It has 11 cookies. You can see them all here and it has encrypted information in them. That's just the way cookies work. And you'll see it says here, send for secure same site connections only. That means this cookie can only be exchanged between Amazon and myself. Now there are some others in here, particularly ones that begin with AD. So there's ads, ads, ad roll, ad NSX, ad mixer, all of these are ad servers. And they are also sending me cookies. And they have encrypted information also. Now you'll see this one says send secure connections only, but it doesn't say same site. That's because these cookies were sent to me by a website that I never even visited. They were included in some other site, perhaps like Amazon. And those cookies are intended to keep track of the ads that I'm shown and to observe my browsing behavior so that better ads can be served. This can introduce some pretty serious privacy concerns. And so browsers like Safari are beginning to disallow these third-party cookies, cookies that come from websites that I've never actually been to at all. Now here in Chrome, you can choose to block third-party cookies, but by default, it's still turned off. In 2022, Chrome is going to start turning this on by default. And then both Safari and Chrome will have the same issue with things like this checkout. Now, I want to show you real quick what BC4WP is trying to do here. You'll note that my domain name is bc4wpintro1.local. So let's go find that. You can search right here. And there it is, I have five cookies. Now, my actual big commerce domain name that's inside this checkout right here is at mybigcommerce.com and it's this one right here. So the problem is that this domain name is different from my WordPress site. So in order to make this work, what I actually need to do is create a DNS C name for something like checkout.bc4wpintro1.local and point it at this domain name. Then both ends will have the same end domain name and they won't be passing third-party cookies back and forth. In the description below, there's a link to a blog post as well as some documentation on bigcommerce.com on how to set this up properly so that Safari continues to work and in the future, all browsers will continue to work.